um, had a four four year uh, history with uh, colon cancer and the metastatic spread. Uh, she was in and out of the hospital for uh, for about four years, receiving. Uh, her surgery, then chemo, and uh, eventually the the chemotherapy uh, stopped stopped uh, stopped working. And um, when she uh, th at that point she started metabolic therapy, and uh, after about two months, uh, the the hospital control with the CT scan showed the uh, average of a 50% mass tumor reduction. Mm. Uh, Yes. And you're still treating her. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Do you have any good yeah. stories? <laughs> we have some. Mm, recently, what I was very happy about, uh, um, a family approached me. They live in Romania, but they are Hungarians. And uh, they have an 11 year old daughter uh, who had uh, been diagnosed with acute leukemia. And they, they wanted to start the chemotherapy at her. and. Uh, um, the next day, after the diagnosis, they they found me and uh, they started the metabolic therapy right uh, right after, and they asked for three weeks from the hospital to to wait uh, with the chemo, mm -hmm. and after three weeks, uh, the blood cell count, uh, I mean the the white blood cell count uh, dropped to one fifth of of uh, the previous one and and after two months it normalized and oh. it's still it's it's um well uh, they've been at me three weeks ago and uh, it was four months since we started the th therapy but uh, she's she's well and and um she's she seems completely completely cured mm. do you have that yeah well <clears throat> Which one to choose? <laughs> um, yes, I had a, a patient uh, a year or so ago who was uh, discharged from the hospital, inoperable uh, cancer of the pancreas, and they uh, they didn't feel they could offer him even chemotherapy. It was just home to die. But we started... Um, um, metabolic uh, therapy. He had a tremendous reaction to the uh, to the therapy uh, there in the, in the surgery, uh, which was um, alarming. But uh, it went very well. Uh, his numbers um, in his blood test, his numbers were in the hundreds of thousands. It was phenomenal. Never seen numbers like it. And within a week, we'd got them virtually back down to normal. He's still alive today. Goes out, uh, yeah, walking in the mountains, and yeah, he's very grateful. Great. Uh, if these products are so effective that we hear and well that research shows, uh, why don't um, medical doctors use them more in their therapies? They're not they trained. They don't know. They don't know that. Yeah. It's not th something you you learn about in the medical faculties. It's not something that's emphasized. Even the even the importance of correct nutrition and diet is not emphasized at all today in the yeah. in the doctor training. So it's a completely different way of thinking uh, in how to not only approach to cancer but many many different diseases and symptoms. Mm. How much training does um a uh, student uh, gets when it comes to nutrition. I'd like to say practically nothing uh, within a six year period. Uh, maybe in total uh, between five to ten hours. But uh, but it uh, it's not focusing on uh, on what's clinically important. It's more like uh, to learn about the molecular structure of different vitamins and minerals. But it's nothing about how to use it to prevent uh, or to cure disease yeah. right. at all. It's uh, it's a yeah different approach. So you learn very little, I would say. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, it's very strange that. Uh, 
uh, academic scientists say that 80% of the cancers could be prevented, so we wouldn't have to cure it, yeah. and we know how to prevent, yes. but we still not prevent. Mm. And when it appears, then uh, we, we hammer it with, with very <laughs> intensive drugs. Mm. Yeah. So we have here nutrients, food, different elements of food that can be used to, to prevent cancer and to treat yes. cancer. It's fairly harmless, it's rather effective if I am to make a judgment from what you guys tell me. It's not illegal and it's not well known. So what does a person do if he goes to his doctor, he or she goes to the doctor, gets the diagnosis? Uh, that person will have to listen to the underground to find out about yeah. guys like you. You don't advertise in the papers. No, no we don't have to. No. <laughs> so it's, it's word of mouth, it's learn from each other, it's take it yeah. one step at a time and hope that we can be left in peace to do this work. Cure people, help, uh, cure is a word we shouldn't use, I mean, at all. to help people deal with this situation and get well again. And it's all underneath the radar. Yes, okay. Yeah. But I do think that if we, if we try to do this correct and right uh, and build up the documentation that this is actually uh, a good treatment and uh, in some cases a curative treatment, uh, I definitely feel this is uh, something that needs more attention from not only the medical faculties and hospitals as well, but this, it shouldn't be, uh, be hidden away. It needs to come out in the open so that people can get free information make a choice for themselves. If they want the normal traditional hospital treatment, they can make this choice. If they want to choose differently, people should be allowed to do so. Mm. Yeah. So it's like we say in Fritt Helsevalg, Jatak Begedeler in Norwegian thanks both the whole spectrum of treatment that is available out there yeah. should be there for the benefit of yeah. the patient. Yeah. Let me remind you what Alex Schaus said this morning. The truth will stand. It will remain. It does not go away. Yeah, love it. Yes. What shows uh, the changing is uh, that during the past week, uh, six doctors approached me who have cancer. Oh, <laughs> wow. And one, one doctor was from abroad, from uh, Austria. Mm. Uh, she had, um, she had um, pen, um, cancer of the uterus and uh, and uh, she saw this therapy on the internet and found, somehow found my phone number and, and she phoned me. And um, we will meet um, two days uh, after this conversation. All right. So, yeah. yeah. And uh, our organization also, uh, we are contacted all the time by people who need information. So we can see that there's a need there out there. Yeah. And uh, we hope that uh, the authorities will in fact, improve our system. Doctors, thank you for uh, joining us. Thank you. Very nice to have you here. Thank you. Mm -hmm.